Okay, so I'm here with Mark Shuttleworth from Canonical. Great to see you again, Mark. Great to see you. Uh, so you've just had a, a tremendous hit on Indiegogo with a new project. Do you want to tell me about it? We had a brilliant day one for uh, for the project, but there's a, there's a, there's a marathon still to go right, right. as we push through to the finish Well, you, line. you cleared 10% of your $32 million goal in 12 hours or something. Broke the record for time to a million dollars, broke the record for time to $2 million, broke the record for a first day, but we have to smash the total record right. to succeed. Yeah, so, there's, there's still 90% to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what is this What is this project about? Um, so the project is really about the dynamics of innovation in the mobile industry. Um, through no fault of their own, the, the big players are essentially extremely conservative about how they bring new innovation, new components, new technologies into um, uh, phones and similarly for PCs. Um, the reason for that is they, they have no clear signaling from the market as to what's really exciting, what's really interesting, what people are really going to want. So they rely either on mystical genius, a la Steve Jobs, or, or luck, um, or generally they end up being really conservative. So the idea is to use crowdfunding to, to take a concept of stuff that might be really amazing in a device, validate that concept by, um, by seeing if there are enough people to back the project, um, and then being able to test the new technologies and, and components and sort of moderate uh, or modest production volumes, but thereby bringing forward the time when those sorts of technologies would be widely available in the mass market. So you've, you've compared that to uh, the way that Formula One feeds uh, innovation exactly, into yeah. the motor industry. It's that sort sure. of an idea. Sure. Um, today, you know, uh, there's there's no gap between there's, there's a huge gap between the lab and mass market, you know, automobiles, and mm -hmm. uh, and we're all driving mass market automobiles. Um, in in the car industry, you have Formula One, which is sort of really cutting edge. And then you have sort of very premium segments where again those technologies would go next, and then you have the mass market. Um, and so what we're trying to do is is, is show that that that, that innovation selection and proving can happen you know, through crowdfunding. Right. So now you're trying to get the, the best of breed technologies into the physical device as well as trying to produce an innovative operating system in the, in well, the, in so the shape of the Ubuntu phone software. That you've right, got. so we're working with phone manufacturers. That's kind of how we got in, interested in this idea of the innovation cycle. We have a particular passion which is convergence, the idea that your phone could also be the heart of the PC. And that is stretching you know, a, a little bit beyond what phone manufacturers have on their horizons mm -hmm. for the next one or two years. We think it's totally possible, but there's no sort of, a, 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 there's no mechanism to test that, test that out today. So in this case, the concept phone essentially is capable of being a, a desktop as well as a, as well as a phone. It has a dramatically more RAM. It's also testing some new components, some new battery technology, some screen technology, um, and, uh, and other capabilities. Um, you know, if it's green lighted, then the technologies in that device, if they're successful, will be widely available a year ahead of where they would otherwise be. So, what's this device going to be like? So, this is a physical model of it. Um, uh, you go through an intense design process. There you go. Uh, present the edge. Um, you go through an intense design process, essentially selecting technologies, then essentially working with the design manufacturer to get a sense of whether things feasible to make, and then looking at the industrial design. Um, we're fortunate in, in Canonical because we're so focused on design of the software, um, we were able to reach out into the design community and work with some really great guys who, who've, uh, who've done this. It echoes a lot of the, the software design stories that we have, but it introduces a really nice industrial edge to it. And, and then that's going to end up being um, a, a smartphone when it's a phone and a desktop PC when there's an HDMI monitor plugged That's in. exactly right. So it has MHL and uh, docking that, you know, connecting that up to any HDMI monitor with a Bluetooth keyboard gives you a full PC experience. Um, either with Android in the form of an Ubuntu desktop that's running off your Android phone and has access to all of those files and contacts and so on, um, or in the case of Ubuntu where you have Ubuntu on the phone and, and giving you the desktop environment simultaneously. Right. And so when is this going to be ready? I, I admit that I've actually ordered one, so when am I going to get my phone, Mark? Th 30 days to decision, which is the, which is the green lighting of the project. If it's green lighted, in May 2014. Okay. Uh, can I come over and pick it up from the office in London? You can come and pick it up in person or we will ship it straight to you. Okay, well, I was hoping you were going to deliver it to me. But, you know, <laughs> uh, in your case, I might deliver it in person. <laughs> it would be a privilege. Yeah. Right. Well, congratulations on, on um, breaking the world record for crowdfunding in a single day. And you've got a long way to go. Um, I saw you put up some more offers today. 
Um, yeah, so so as we kind of figure out what, what works, what, what people are rallying to, we'll, we'll tweak the, um, the perks and the offers. Um, I think the credit sits with the team that, that led this idea and also with the people who've backed it, who've been incredible. Um, and with Indiegogo, which is, um, which is a really great crowd, crowdfunding platform. They've been super to work with. You can imagine behind the scenes, you know, we've had to work with PayPal mm -hmm. and, you know, clear a lot of uh, regulatory and other hurdles to, 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 to take on something like this. So what's going to be in there? That's all going to be free software? Uh, yes, so we'll ship this with um, uh, Android and Ubuntu. Um, there are no plans to put proprietary applications on it. Um, we haven't finalized the silicon selection, so we're, we're, we're looking at the next generation silicon from all of the major vendors. Um, I would like to ship it with all free drivers. What's really interesting is how this is driving the evolution of the, of the free software desktop in the form of Unity and, and Ubuntu, um, and also how the work that's going into the phone is transforming um, the cloud as well. So, um, if this ends up with an ARM processor, it'll be running exactly the same version of Ubuntu that's running on the ARM uh, Moonshot service from HP, which is kind of incredible. Right. So anything else you want to say about the project? No, other than thank you very much to, uh, to all of the folks who have backed us. And uh, if green-lighted, we will work our guts out to deliver an incredible device that, that makes all sorts of new possibilities. Oh, and the thing that really excites me about this is, is the hardware angle, right? Of essentially inverting the innovation selection process. So instead of having 10 product managers who sweat at trying to decide what's important, we crowdfund innovation, right? We crowd-select innovation. But, but what really is amazing is this will be a phone that can do things that no other portable device has ever done. Imagine what some student at MIT is going to do. Right? The great thing about open source is, is not the things that we dream are possible, but you know, the fact that other people can turn around and do things that we didn't even think about. And that's pretty amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time and for your, um, your intervention in the free software market to drive innovation forward. It's going to be fun. Thanks.